standing here at U Makers. Um, this is a local maker space in Upland, California. And it's been instrumental in helping me um, develop my skills in making. I had a background in digital design. And um, a lot of the machines here, like the laser cutter, the 3D printer, the CNC even, uh, they're all digital driven. So all the members who come here have uh, different skills, different life perspectives, um, lots of different kinds of experiences. And um, just the machines itself uh, are great, but having um, the opportunity to talk to all these people, learn from their business experience, their personal experiences, looking at what they create has given me so many different ideas that um, you know I, I think is great. I mean, this idea of a maker space is actually really going to change the world. The maker movement has been building for many years. Maker generally describes people using technology in do-it-yourself activities. Important parts of the movement include sharing knowledge, learning, and improving. The maker movement is worldwide. Major proponents of it are Mark Hatch, Carl Bass, Neil Gershenfeld, and Dale Doherty. Locally, Rob Perhamus started U-Makers. Hands-on making is essential. That's where shared maker spaces such as U-Makers come in. Learning to design on the computer was a hard switch for me, um, but it's been really rewarding because now I can um, create what I did on the computer and bring it to life. Um, so th I actually started with 3D printing and then once I uh, joined the maker space then I discovered different materials that I could also um, use to make my cake topper. So this is another example of a laser cut wood one. We, this started off as doing um, creations for our friends and family but I've since made a uh, Etsy and I am actually selling some of these cake toppers online. So while I am going to school for uh, nursing, which um, I'm actually getting some um, profit from my own creation. Hi, my name's Rob and I'm the founder of U Makers. It's a maker space and it's in Upland. Um, so these are some of the machines I thought I'd uh, tour you through. And uh, this is a Tormac CNC milling machine. We have a uh, wide format printer. We have uh, two lasers uh, here. Uh, very popular in many maker spaces. Some people make their entire living out of using these part-time. This is a CNC router um, and it's uh, useful. You can be a, a sign business, you can do uh, sculptures with it, you can be an artist. Uh, we cut out parts for, uh, for artists to, uh, to finish. Um, all of these machines are also part of what they call a fab lab. And there's about 1,200 of these fab labs around the world, just not here in the 909 until now. And I copycatted by having the same equipment that they have in all these other places. They've refined this over a decade. And so there's lots of great inventors, uh, artists, and uh, engineers that come and use the tools to start their business. I call old school shop class machines. Do it yourself t shirts here. We have uh, 3D printers. We have seven all together, a couple of them. Mainly, we're a community, a community of makers. And uh, it's fun more than anything else. So it's great when I'm around people that are very creative and uh, they come over and uh, they make things. You makers may have the best view of any maker space. It's in a business park at the corner of Foothill Boulevard and Monte Vista Avenue. Look at this bracket. Beautiful. Had it made last night. Had these made last night and picked them up today. And I just joined. And I'm loving you makers. Connie Yu made this lamp by laser cutting wood, applying paper behind the open areas, and putting a light inside. My name is Jack, and what I do is I either copy something and in, we insert it into the laser cutter, and what happens is whatever we designed or put on the computer is cut into this wood. I make about animals for squashies my little business. You Makers is open 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week. My family took some professional photos and uh, we've got digital copies of those and today I'm using the uh, VersaCam to do a large print 
for my wife. Dan Newman used a 3D printer to make this. It is one piece of plastic, including the individual strands of hair. Ivana Chavez operates a dog care service. She prints banners, t-shirts, and other promotional material at U-Makers. Here she is using the large format printer. This here is a, a rustic wood American flag. Uh, so here at the maker space, I use the CNC router uh, to engrave or carve out my uh, stars in the union. I set up uh, the image in the software, um, set up the CNC, and basically just start and carve all my uh, stars out. I've been at U-Makers now for a year and a half, almost two years. I got started in 3D design and, and used 3D printers and now it's kind of snowballed into laser cutting and, and cutting things on the CNC. Slightly different images on layers of clear plastic were engraved by Connie Yu. Hi, my name's Chip. I like to teach people how to do complex things with simple devices like microprocessors. Everything from winky light displays to more complex animation uh, sequences. Meetups with computer experts provide help with apps and hardware. 3D machining, scanning of physical objects, and beginner programming are just some of the things that can be done. I'm working on a mobile application that will show what foods that we eat are related to other foods that we eat. Jeff and Yash are reviewing game pieces made at U-Makers. This is an improved board with interlocking pieces. With the tools at U-Makers, you can pretty much customize any piece that came with the board game. So you can do custom tokens with your name on it. You can uh, 3D print 3D versions of the tokens that came with the game. And uh, you can laser cut buildings that uh, are shown on the game but aren't actually represented in 3D. Upland High School students formed a robotic club calling themselves Team Neurotoxins. They designed a robot at U-Makers to compete in the regional FIRST Tech Challenge in Long Beach earlier this year. Hi, I'm Dan Newman. I primarily do 3D printing. I've been doing that since 2009. U-Makers here in Upland, it's a great opportunity for me to interact with other people, you know, share some of the skills I have with others, and uh, more, more importantly to me, learn from other people. Some makers create objects to sell at retail stores. These earrings are on display at Heirloom in Claremont. I'm just making some, uh, some custom four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch ceramic coasters. These geared parts were laser cut by Connie Yu, who then assembled them into a working spinner. When it comes to doing creative things, it's nice to have a place where there's people where I can kind of get some ideas from or learn how to do things from. And in return, I kind of give back and teach them about my skill set, which is engineering, electronics, woodworking, things like that. 